and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. If you're in the market for your next PRS type rifle scope, this one might be a good option for you. We're looking at the Blackhound Emerge 3-24x56. So if you're not familiar with the Blackhound brand, I want to say about four or five years ago, they came out with the Blackhound Genesis, which was a 6 24 by 50 magnification optic first focal plane with a zero stop. Now at the time, that was kind of unheard of. There was nobody else pretty much doing that. Now, since then, times have caught up, but they always seem to be offering a very good value for a very good price. And I think this Blackhound Emerge is a very good representation of that. This one specifically is the 3 to 24 by 56. So they have three different models in the Emerge line. They have the 4 to 32, which only has 25 mils of internal adjustment. They have this one, the 3 to 24, which has 32 mils of internal adjustment, and the 2 to 12, which has 30 mils of internal adjustment. This is a first focal plane, high magnification, Christmas tree style reticle with illumination. Now the price point is retailing, at least for the 3 to 24, is $1,600. So if you're looking at picking one up, I'll leave some links in the descriptions below. But in my opinion, the 3 to 24 is probably their best value option. So we have a ton of internal adjustment. We have 32 mils, wide magnification. Pushing for 32 magnification does seem a bit much. I mean, think of your shot. If you're on a barricade, and let's say you're at the highest magnification of 24, versus their 32 magnification, and you take a shot you're going to jump a little bit off target. Finding your target on a 32 power scope is going to be a lot more of a challenge than it would be on a 24 power. So that's partially why I feel like this is a better option. Also because it has more internal adjustment. The comparison pretty much ends there. Now in terms of glass quality, what are we looking at? Well, this is a 5G tower at about 2,000 meters, which is, I think, a little bit over 2,300 yards or so. So two kilometers away. And you should be able to tell a good amount of detail in this optic. Now, this is a barn at 400 meters. Also, glass quality representations with cameras, they never really come out quite like they look through the optic. You're dealing with a lot of variables. Some optics just come out terribly. Some optics come out better than $2,000 optics, which I've seen frequently. Also, what probably doesn't help is our eye box. So the eye box in this 3 to 24, in my opinion, is a little bit tight, which is probably also contributing to the image quality in that recording session, in, in the image that you guys are just seeing. Also, the fast focus eyepiece is quite smooth, it's not too stiff, and it has a three and a half inch eye relief. Next, the field of view is also 35 at the lowest magnification of three and 4.5 at the highest magnification of 24. So at the lowest magnification, very, very wild field of view. So if you were comparing this to, a, let's say, a five to 25, most five to 25s at the lowest magnification of five have 25 feet at 100 yards, while this one, at the lowest magnification of 3, has 35 feet at 100 yards. So much, much wider, whole 10 feet bigger. So that, in my opinion, is a decent advantage. Although with the highest magnification, it really doesn't matter anymore. It's still pretty much around 5. Next, let's head out to the range and have some fun. <laughs> I believe that was dead center on our big dog. You guys can probably tell a bit better than me. Bing! Bing! That is a really good group. Whew, that was nice. All right, I don't wanna cook my barrel out too quickly, so I'm gonna have to let it cool down before we try ourselves at 1,395 yards. No, 1,495 yards. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, further right, come on. Now spotting my hits, my misses out of range really isn't that hard with this optic. It's a quality optic with quality glass. Next, let's talk about the focus parallax. So at the lowest it starts at, well actually it seems to start lower than 20. And as you're noticing, there are pretty much no numbers. This is a growing trend in terms of optics companies, just because it's really difficult to get the numbers to match perfectly. Also, the focus parallax is really nice and smooth on this optic. They did a great job making sure the fit and finish Pretty much overall, the magnification on this optic, really nice and smooth. I mean, it's got a throw lever, which, I mean, even if it didn't have one, this is really, really nice and smooth. You, you really aren't gonna get much better, even with $2,500 scopes. They're pretty much gonna be just this smooth. Next, let's talk about the turrets. So we have 10 mils per revolution, 32 mils in total of internal adjustment, and it does have a zero stop. Now with this zero stop mechanism, it does limit us to 19.5 mils of internal adjustment. So whether you have 32, well, with the zero stop engaged, you only have 19.5. I guess the consolation factor is that, I mean, 19.5 mils is ridiculously far. With a 6.5 Creedmoor, I'm shooting 1,500 yards and I'm dialed 16.2 mils. So even with lots to spare. So it really depends on your purpose. Keep in mind, most of us who are needing 32 mils, we know it. <laughs> we know that we need it. Otherwise, you're probably buying more horsepower than you need. Now, let's go test the turrets. All right, let's do the box test. Let's go three and we'll wait down. Mills down. Okay, and three right. Back to zero, and back to zero. Looking good. Let's test the tracking. Let's go three mils down. Six, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Looking good. Let's see how much more internal adjustment it has. That's it. So technically, 19 mils of internal adjustment with the zero stop engaged, which it's not really optional. So as you can see, it's not gonna let us go much past our, our initial zero. So it actually lets us go uh, 0 0.2 mils past, but this is our original zero. Uh, that's what happened, that's the zero type of system it has. So uh, our windage, let's have a look how much internal we have. And that's it. Perfect, that's it. Let's see if there's any point of impact change with magnification. Looking good, looking good. So it obviously does a box test just fine. It tracks really, really well, as we'd expect at this price point. Now, a lot of the optics in this day and age, you know, once they get past seven, eight hundred dollars they're really close in tracking. And most of the time, it's not that discernible to the, uh, to even my tests, if you had a tall target test, they're all gonna be very, very close. And I guess what would be more interesting to see is a sample of 10, not just one. So if you are looking to test your own turrets, I'd recommend taking a look at box to bench precision's targets. So you can actually test your own optics, you can test your own turrets. And also this turret system does have a second revolution indicator. So this little button pops up once you're on your second revolution. Although it doesn't come up very high. Lastly is the warranty. So I feel like almost all across the board with this optic, they did a phenomenal job. Reticles really are coming down to personal preferences. And in this one, I feel like they could have designed it a bit better in my opinion. So I'm typically of the opinion a floating dot in the middle is much more desirable. I do like having numbers on my windage and a little bit more of a Christmas tree going outwards as it goes down. The thickness, in my opinion, is a good thickness. 
but I feel like they were missing a few things when it came to the reticle design, which you know leaves them a little bit of room for improvement, and I don't think there are any other options available for reticle choices. Although, with the amount of shooting that I've done, I seem to get used to pretty much anything lately, so I feel like I'm losing my opinion on reticles. <laughs> I used to be very particular, and now I just use so many different optics that it doesn't seem to matter as much anymore. <laughs> I know, that's not good for an optics reviewer. Uh, it does have illumination, as you can see, and we have an offsetting between each setting. And also, the illumination is quite bright. Now, this optic doesn't just come like this in the box. It does come with scope rings. Now, most of the time, whenever an optics company gives you free scope rings with your optic, they're usually not that great. And that's exactly the case with this optic. If it didn't come with scope rings, I would say this is still a great value in terms of an optic. Now, with the scope rings, I mean, it's still a great value in terms of an optic, but the scope rings, are really not that great. Once you see uh, that kind of tape in the bottom of those scope rings, that's typically indicative that they're not very good quality. So if you were to buy something like this, I'd recommend getting something like, typically my ballpark is don't spend less than about $80 US or about $100 Canadian on good quality scope rings. That's pretty much the minimum. Anything upwards of that is generally gonna be very good quality. For example, the Vortex Pros, the MDT uh, Premier line, uh, the Warren line, which is something that we've been using more and more in our um, in our optics reviews, and they are excellent quality. Like the, they actually OEM for many other companies, which is why they make really good quality optics for themselves as well. So if you're looking for a one piece mount, definitely take a look at the one piece Warren optics rings. Why good quality optics? Well. I've actually used a lot of more budget ones in the past, and I've noticed the scope sliding in the optics, in, in the scope rings. So yeah, you, are, you need to spend at least $100 Canadian. Actually, I think it's turning into more like 130, 140 Canadian to get good quality scope rings. Things that are usually included with rifle scopes are typically of modest or insufficient quality. Well, I mean, I'm sure these scope rings will do in the meantime, I'd say go shopping for some good quality scope rings and you'll be set for life. In terms of warranties, they do have a lifetime warranty. Yes, as pretty much any scope company does in this day and age. Any defects, then they will be taken care of you. So that's my thoughts on the Blackhound Emerge. If you're looking for a good quality optic, the Blackhound Emerge is an excellent quality optic with great fit and finish, but in my opinion, the only part I can find to really hold it back is probably its reticle to sun. I feel like they could have done a bit better on that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. I'll see you in the next review.